All new at 10, problems in Old Town. It's been more than a month since the community association there announced the end of their 90-day plan to revitalize the neighborhood. But recent violence is making it hard for people who live and work there to believe anything is changing. Yeah, take a look at this map of the one block in Old Town. So we can tell you that it shows a wave of crime within the last five days. A deadly stabbing happened on the corner of North, Northwest 5th Avenue in Davis. That was Tuesday morning. And a shooting also left one person hurt on the corner of Northwest 4th Avenue in Cooch Street. That was early Sunday morning. Now, last Friday, three people were shot on the corner of Northwest 5th and Cooch, leaving one person dead. Fox Bell's Connor McCarthy joins us now live in Northwest Portland to tell us more about what neighbors are saying about this ongoing violence. Connor? Well, Pete and Bonnie, like you said, the Old Town Community Association is uh, trying to revitalize uh, their neighborhood, even with all this violence that's happening this week. Now, despite these efforts, I did speak to one business off camera, and they say that there is still no foot traffic in Old Town, so they have no choice but to move to the Lloyd Center. I did speak to community members on camera, and they say this is simply because crime is still out of hand. A week of violence in Old Town is nothing new to Terry Brenneman. It's, it's terrible. It's just, it happens all the time. Right before I spoke with him, he says he witnessed an assault in the same parking lot that's been the center of crime this week. And the guy chased another guy down right over here in the parking lot and caught him and beat the hell out of him, kicked him, punched him, the guy was hollering and screaming. And he... Since last Friday, two people have died and three people have been seriously injured in just one city block in two separate shootings and a deadly stabbing. It's just gone continuously downhill and as far as business is coming back, you don't see any businesses coming back. And I don't think that anybody is going to come back down here the way it is. I did reach out to the Old Town Community Association for comment, but a spokesperson referred me to a press release about a new car-free plaza on Northwest Cooch Street. In it, Community Association Chair Jesse Burke is quoted saying, Old Town's new future will be safe, clean, and accessible. She also says that hotels are filling up and businesses are crowded. But those who spend time in Old Town, like Brenneman, say revitalizing the neighborhood is far from complete. I see this area needs uh, needs some help. The the, uh, the people in charge and leaders that are charge all the money and everything come down here and you walk through the streets and you find out for yourself what's going on and you see, and then you figure out what to do. And Pete and Bonnie, with that shooting that happened this Sunday, Portland police is asking the public for help. That's because they say there are witnesses out there that have information and information about a suspect, but no one stayed around during their investigation, so they're asking anyone in the public with any information to call the detectives. Live in Northwest Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.